now it's time for Mike's favorite moment when he does the karate chop signifying the bottom line. Yeah, everybody's doing it now. Bottom line. It's the terrible twos. It's the final two questions of the show. The two most important questions of the show. You could just Bottom fast line. forward to the end to find out, you know, what this is, but don't because then you miss all the banter. Here we go. Question number one, Michael Kenyon Rosenberg. On a scale of one to 10, what would you give this first episode of Stargate Atlantis entitled, I, I, I don't remember, entitled Rising Part Rising one. Part One. I would give this a uh, 5.75. So Kat came very close. She was very, very close. Very close. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, like I said, it's 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 this is made for Stargate fans. I don't think I'm like a huge Stargate fan. I, I watch it because of my deal with my wife. I enjoy it. When I said that, when I told my wife we we're going to be watching this, she's like, you can't. You're going to see spoilers. Um <laughs> Uh, I didn't. I don't think I saw any spoilers, but uh, um, who knows? Maybe I did, but I, I guess the spoilers that Colonel Jack O'Neill is a general now. Who knows? Um, but yeah, it, it was. It was. I, I didn't. I wasn't thrilled by the acting. The the the. the, the, the I had to like find out who all these new character were characters were all at once. So that was kind of uh, not the easiest. To, so anyway, I, I yeah, it's uh, five point seven five for me. Mm. Hmm. So he talked a big game, but when it came down to it, he was like, all right, you guys. Yeah, I can admit. I can admit. Um, well, Roz, on a scale of one to 10, what would you give this first episode? I, I keep going between like 6.75 and 7.25. And I know that right in the middle is a seven, but seven <laughs> doesn't sound right. So I'm going to go with 7.25. Ah. It's it's there. The story's there. Everything is there. But it's just like um, I guess maybe some of the execution could have been different and such like that. And I think that would have, I think, hooked me in a bit stronger than it did. But I appreciate the story. I appreciate the characters. Seven point two five. This Joker Finally. is wild. Yes. <laughs> All right, Cat. Scale of one to ten. Your thoughts. I would give it a 6.2357. Ah. 6.2357. Mm -hmm. Yes. God, yes. That, is like the, that is like the fifth time we've gotten that score. <laughs> <laughs> Coincidentally. Yeah, I, I, I liked the show. I agree. I, I enjoyed it. I think that the story and the plot was interesting. The characters are interesting. The world is interesting. But there were some, you know, technical issues. But overall, I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Wow. You know, that reminded, right, me of the, that reminded me of the time where I worked in a restaurant. And this guy, at the end of the day, he was like, hey, he's like, whoa, look at this. I'm like, uh-huh. He's like, look. I'm like, I don't, yeah. He's like, I sold $631. I'm like, okay. He's like, even, no sense. I'm like, okay. And he's like, I mean, what are the chances of that? I was like, uh, one in a hundred. <laughs> anyway, I'd like to abstain. Uh, so, no. no. Uh, question number two. You're not allowed. You're not allowed. Um, we need. Okay. We need your answer. But I, Final I answer. wanted to like this, and I feel bad because I like MacGyver and Tori. Okay. And when you MacGyver's guys talk not about you guys talk about Dreamboat guy, but I'm still not sure which one that is. I thought MacGyver was the Dreamboat, and I won't listen to anything other wise um it was going to be pretty low honestly it was going to be pretty darn low because of almost everything all around towards the end it got a little bit more interesting you know we got some lore you know and, and it does cover data. atlantis right and before and you know we're all very interested in, I, I felt like this was a show that i would have been totally into in high school or middle school because it mm -hmm, talks about mm -hmm. atlantis it covers atlantis and when you're a kid, you're not really interested as much as of the how. All you care about is, whoa, they're going to Atlantis or they're going to the center of the earth or whatever. But then like when you get older or when I get older, like I'm more interested in the how more so than just the fact that they're going to Atlantis. So it's going to be really low. Towards the end, it got better. I'm going to give it a four. 
because I'm very nice. Uh, yeah. Anyway, Michael, for the purposes yes. of this podcast, we all had to watch the first episode of Stargate Atlantis, but now that the podcast is over and we're free to move about the internet, would you, of your own volition, watch the second episode? Okay, so I do have two answers, but my second answer is going to be the real answer. So first of all, because I have my deal with my wife, I will watch the second episode. I'll probably watch the whole thing. However, the question is, would I of my own volition? And to that, I want to say that what I think is one of the coolest things about the world of the Stargate universe is that the Stargates and the city of Atlantis was built by, built by these ancients. The ancients were, I, I'm not 100% sure yet, but I think, I think that they were like, like the first race of humans on earth and they became super technologically advanced. And I think from what I know that they just kind of ascended into pure energy and they left behind all this cool technology. But here we are in Atlantis, which is a city of their building that has all this cool technology. In fact, I don't know if you noticed, I certainly did because I, I watched Stargate all the time. The Stargate that was in Atlantis looked different than the Stargate on Earth. The Stargate on Earth has all these symbols. The Stargate at Atlantis had like constellations or something like that. Uh, yeah. So because of all that cool stuff, I wanna learn more. So even, it, even if I didn't have this deal with my wife, if I had been watching Stargate and I started watching this one, I would want to watch the second one. Yes. Period. Um, Roz, of your own volition, would you watch the second episode? Yes, I would. I would watch the second episode. See, you guys. I <laughs> predicted this. She liked it. Um, yeah. Kat, would you watch the second? I would. Yes, I would. Yes. All right, so Ryden wouldn't, and then that's it. Three out of four. Three out of four. Three out of four. Uh, yeah, no, nah, I come on, come on, guys, get serious. No, yeah, I, I, I knew that. Yeah, I, I um, would not. Although so was... I called it, I called all four. Um, I mean, all three of you guys, I called. So I am the you winner did? of the predicaments today. Yeah. Right. No, although you Kat were... came very close on my score. You were accurate for me, for sure. Um, it was going to be very low, but it got interesting at the end for me. And they gave us a nice little teaser. And so you got to bump it up. And so I would almost consider having some curiosity for the second episode, but not enough to where I would subject myself. I might just ask you, like, what were those things? But yeah, not enough. Not even close. Wait, did you just say you would consider being curious about the next episode? <laughs> yeah i was i was curious about considering the second episode <laughs> oh man that even sorry that's all the time we have today <laughs> <laughs> otherwise boy oh boy could we rehash yeah. that over and over again yeah uh, everybody uh please be sure to go check out Roz and cat's goodies and uh, let us know in the comments below what you'd like us to review next, be it sci-fi, fantasy, or otherwise. And uh, I think that's about it, right, Michael? Yeah, yep, that's All it. Right. So what I'm the trying end. to say is this podcast was way more fun for me than watching Stargate Atlantis. I didn't hate Stargate Atlantis. I just love these people. <laughs> This star, this podcast proves once again how big of a curmudgeon Ryan is. Ah. <laughs> I have to say it. This podcast has the perfect amount of cleavage. I love it. It's a <laughs> we are fantastic. Okay. Oh, this podcast <laughs> uh, was Cat super laughed fun. for a long like time there. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, Cat. Go ahead. Like it always is. <laughs> But Ryan threw me off today. I will say that. Ryan, you threw me off. I'm sorry because I wasn't didn't get the cleavage memo. I'll wear it next time. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you are. Now it's three out of four again. And Ryan's the one that's the commercial. <laughs> no, I was going to do. Uh, did we get everybody? Yep. 
Okay, cool. So everybody at home, gotten. show off your cleavage and remember what Mr. Michael Kenyon Rosenberg always likes to say, which is... Don't forget, after you show some cleavage, register to become an organ donor at Donate Life. And after that, and you got your cleavage out, don't forget to watch the first of things. Cleavage. All right, freeze frame. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. Oh Roz, that's goodness. a terrible freeze frame. You're just watching oh, us do knows, it. You're like, oh, look at that they, one. Look at this she one. She knows that we don't actually freeze frame. <laughs> I already have my cleavage out. So. But it's still a freeze frame. It's like a... Nah. Nah.